Okay. So, it's uh, 5.15. We're just making some bacon. I got some bacon a, a buddy of ours, Kent, brought over. Thank you. And uh, it takes so long to cook in the morning, it never gets cooked, and it's just sitting in there. So I just got it going in the pan here between doing emails. And uh, that's good. That was like live pig just a week ago. Yeah, that's good. Um, we had a dude show up. I put up a picture of the Christmas cocks on the Facebook page today, and this fucking dipshit showed up and said, uh, are these the cocks that are coming with the Christmas sale? You never answered my question, blah, blah, blah. And a bunch of people, by the time I saw it, had answered his question. But the point to all of it is, he's like, you know, John just ignored me. No, we were fucking dealing with real customers. Like, you, you, you'd you, say how I ignored you as a customer. You're not a fucking customer because we don't have your money. We didn't have your money. We don't want your money. And if you fucking send an order in for fucking $4,000, $5,000, $10,000 today and disclose to me that it's you, I will promptly refund your fucking order. Like, I don't, I don't need your money. We as a company don't need your money. <clears throat> but... In the same thread, there's a bunch of dudes on there going, I don't know, Willis fucking replied to me on Christmas Day. Willis replied to me Christmas Eve. Willis replied to me last night at 2 a.m. in the morning. Because that's that's what I do. When I get home, I sit there for hours. When we go places on the weekends, when we travel two hours to Nashville every weekend, Amanda drives so that I can do email and Facebook. That's why, like, right now, my, my fucking post reach for the page is 1.1 million. That's fucking huge. That's not promoted, that's no fucking paid sales, that's nothing, that's just normal page reach because I interacted all day Saturday back and forth while traveling in the vehicle. So the point to this video is this dude got on there and made 20 posts about un how unhappy he was and he's just being a little bitch. But in the end of it, what did you expect to gain by starting all this shit and having all these dudes fucking jump on you on the Facebook page? What did you hope to gain? Like... You want the Christmas cock? You wanted to know that that's the order? Like, it's too late anyways? But by being such a little fucking bitch, what did you stand to gain? And that, that's the point to it. I remember a long, long time ago, I was probably 18 or so, and uh, a friend of mine, I was fighting, you know, with girlfriend. And friend said, in the end of it, what is it you want her to do? So, like, you're having this fight, you're going back and forth, and you're fucking hanging up on each other, and... You're pissed at her, and you're making her more pissed at you, and back and forth. But in the end, what is it you want? What did she not do that you wanted her to do? And what is it you're fighting over? And the same thing with this dude. Like, what did he fucking stand to gain by this? You wanted the fuck. You wanted us to send it to you. You wanted us to say, "Oh, we fucked up. Here it is, free." That's most likely what I think it was, or what the deal is. Like, we don't care who the fuck you are. And the, and the deal is, like, in the coupon code, in the sale where we posted that you'll get a free Christmas cock for orders over $50, was also the coupon code. So if you even knew what the coupon code was, that information was already right there. And the fact is that over 2,000 people were able to use this code. You're the only fucking dude that's having this issue and making this big deal about it after the fact here. And then we look at your page and you look like a fucking idiot anyways. So, like, we just, we don't give a shit. The other thing today, like all day long, I've been replying. I printed out a bunch of emails last night, dudes inquiring about status of order. So I get in, I look up their order, come in the back, advise them as best we can as to what options they have to make their order ship faster, and we give them those options. 90% of those dudes are like, well, I'll just wait. Well, if you can fucking wait, then fucking wait, because like you are stopping what is going on here, and the time it takes one of us to pull your order out, five, ten minutes, send you an email, wait for you to reply, and then fucking go back and, and check the options again and, and more finite the order, we could have shipped fucking eight or nine orders in that time. Amanda could have shipped them, Colin could have pulled them, and we could have dealt with real dudes. The deal is, you ordered this shit, if you can't wait for it, don't fucking order it. If you're not willing to take a change in the order, don't fucking stop what we're doing and email us about us. There's plenty of fucking companies where you can get shit that day. You didn't do it, because we make better shit, or you want to do business with us. But the reality is, we do business on such a fucking large scale, we can afford to lose fucking 10% of you. We can lose, afford to lose fucking 20% of you. We don't want to, but we're willing to do it in order to fucking grow and continue to get more orders. If that means shipping fucking 15 more orders that day, I'm willing to fucking refund your money and lose you as a customer for that. Because 
We have plenty of business coming in. We will always have plenty of business. I know you're going to jump on here. There's going to be some dude that's going to give me business advice. I don't need it. I don't care. If we fucking had to shut down and be smaller, I would be perfect. John Willis would be fine that day. Colin, he'll be fine the fucking next day too because I'll make sure he's fine. Like, we, we're okay one way or another. We are doing so many fucking orders right now that we can afford to get rid of the fucking customers that are problematic. And if, you, if that's you, or you go someplace and dudes are always, when you walk out, you're like, those guys were really mean to you, that's probably you. Like, you should probably not order from us. We're okay with that. What were you going to say? Well, it's, it's a couple points. The, the guy that started the shit, I, I commented on part of it, and it was really simple. You know, he said, well, ignoring, blah, blah, blah. He said, customer service and ignoring. What happened really was the was the opposite of customer service. Ignoring you isn't bad service or good service. It's no service. The reason you got no service was because, as what I put in the thing, was that we, we were doing work. Like, if we did respond to every single email that he had about that kind of stuff, things that you can very easily go on the, on the Facebook page and look at or go on the website and it tells you, if we responded to all those, like we would get nothing done. We do have a lot of volume coming in and we're really thankful for it and we're glad for it. But what that means is people do know about us and they do know how we work. So therefore, that's how you, you, should, that's how you found out yeah, about us. You should be able to put one and one together like, okay, it's after Christmas, the sale is no longer on, so I definitely can't get one unless you place an order and you don't get a coupon code and you buy a cock and then you say, hey, maybe then you could maybe then you could buy one and ask for a color change. But even that, like right now, those are limited to the people that bought for the order. That's why any sale, any company that has a sale, they're generating the sales and the, the influx of stuff then. They're not looking to help everyone after that and give them the same sale price. Otherwise, there'd be no sense in having the sale. The sale is for that moment and we give to the people that took, you know, took a a chance on it or took you know their time and money and put into it to actually you know help us but um there's that and so it's, i put it in his post like all you have to do is engage your brain and just delegate the options okay well it says i need to click here i can choose these items and i can get the cock for this it wasn't a really complicated uh, order of steps to actually get that to happen and then what was the other thing you were talking about was uh us pausing and stuff like that if you keep doing that, like I, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm just waiting for the day when he's like, don't, don't answer an email about that, because what you'll end up causing enough problems with all the stuff we have going on. We'll, we'll, we'll start triaging emails, and then there's gonna be a lot of people. Oh, I got ignored. No, you just ask a non-pertinent question. We can't answer all non-pertinent questions. If you have a real question, you can ask us. And if you're cordial and you know act like a responsible adult, then it'll probably get answered really quick. The thing is, guys see these videos and they see the posts on Facebook because they know what my name is. They're like, and they go, I know this is a dumb question. If you got, if you even fucking think that you should, you're going to put, I know this is a dumb question, don't fucking waste our time asking it. There's a couple points here. Customer, that means you gave us money. That dude, you were not a customer. You didn't give us money. Potential customer, maybe. But in the time, we weren't helping you as a potential customer. We helped fucking 20 other cu real customers. They already that had given us their money. Guys that did have a chance to have their shit by Christmas. At the point you were talking about it, it wasn't even an option for you. We had another dude today send an email, ordered a belt, and he fucking, he said in his email, I ordered a 36, but it says right here on my 34 that it's a 34. Well, no, then you didn't order a 36 dipshit. There is a category... 26 to 36 inches on the Cobra Riggers belt that you ordered and in there is a drop down menu of which you physically had to Drop the menu down scroll down and push 34. Maybe you thought you pushed 36 fact is you didn't you said that I gave you info to send the belt back. You sent the belt back on December 16th December 16th we are fucking running around working 12 14 hour days all of my people here were working 12 and 14 hour days Amanda, Colin, and I, we were here 16 hours. We fucking ate dinner here most nights, or somebody had dinner delivered, or somebody went and got dinner and brought it to us. We were shipping 250, 300 boxes a day trying to get orders out, and at the same time, we're in with these inane little ninnies over, are you going to have my, my shotgun card for Christmas? We had a lot of that shit go on. We fucking handled it as best we could and got hundreds of orders out. Most of them were motherfuckers that didn't disclose or put any note of needing it for Christmas. But we did accommodate thousands of those people. So this guy sent the belt back on the 16th. Sent me an email today 
saying how he bought from us because his friends recommended us and said what a great company we were and they all had a great um, experience with us and he's wondering why he's not feeling the same experience and my email was I found his shit it was literally on the table out here it was the next it was in the next pile of belts to be cut it was a uh, I believe it was a black and red um, 1.75 Cobra belt and uh, I just canceled and refunded his order like that that's the deal I don't I don't have time for your thin skin mamby pamby fucking touchy feely bullshit so we don't need you as a customer. Don't think that you're going to call me and tell me that you're dissatisfied and we're going to fucking send you the belt free. So I just said canceled refund. And he said, rather than just sending me the belt, you'd rather lose a customer. Yes, I would. And then he comes, I, and he comes back with, uh, I just bought 50% ownership in a, one of the biggest tactical gear uh, companies in St. Louis. And uh, there's no, we were going to carry you as a dealer and there's no way we'll come on with your shitty customer service, blah, blah, blah. And I said... That's cool. I will make a post. I will post these emails on my Facebook, and a couple things are going to happen. And I named them one through four. I don't. And I said, number one, the dudes that actually own those companies are going to post and tell us who they are, and they're going to say that you're full of shit. You didn't buy 50% ownership in anything. There can't be but three or four of them, maybe in the St. Louis area, if that. Number two, they're going to come in and they're going to go, hey, we would like to carry your shit. Number three. You're going to go and talk shit to all your buddies about how, what assholes the guy at SOE is, and they're going to check us out and buy shit. And number four, you're going to see our shit all around you because that's just how you are. Your buddies that had the good experience, number one, didn't fuck their order up. Number two, if they did, they sent their shit in and waited for it to be delivered. And number three, they didn't send me an email like they were fishing for something free. We will never send, we send free shit out all the time. We will never fucking send something free to a motherfucker that even remotely makes me think they're looking for something free. I will send out fucking $100,000 worth of shit a year to different people before I send you a $5 fucking anything free if I think that's what you're looking for. And we did. We fucking send out thousands of dollars worth of shit to motherfuckers that don't ask for it. I would rather light that shit on fire than give it to you free. I'd rather fuck, it's for real. I'd rather walk outside and light one of my fucking cars on fire than give you $5 worth of anything for fucking free that you fucking asked me for or think you deserve. That's just, and you can ask Colin, if one of you guys wants to challenge me and there's something to fucking benefit by it, I will go out and light one of those fucking cars on fire. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I got fucking all you motherfuckers telling me I'm going out of business. I don't even know. I get in one of my fucking cars. I drive so many cars. Every fucking time I get in one, I don't remember where the fucking wipers are and what fucking side the key's on. The Rover's down here, the Porsche's over here, the Ford's over here, the Chevy's over here. Fucking push to start, fucking... All kinds of shit. Proximity key sensors. I don't give a shit. You dudes telling me I'm going out of business, we will be okay. I'm, I'm good with it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat this nice ass bacon. Stop ordering 26 inch fucking belts. That's the other thing. 26 is the minimum. When you order a 26 inch belt, you better dudes, be a small motherfucker. We always know you fucked up because the dude that really wants a 26 inch belt puts in notes, yes, I in fact need a 26 inch yeah. belt. Every time though, 99% of them, Amanda will send an email, go, do you really want a 26-inch belt? And they'll go, no, I need a 42. Or I, need I a, thought it was 26 I, to 40. I thought it was 26 <laughs> to 40. I got one of those today. Why, yeah. why do you think there's a drop-down category yeah. on there? Like That is a spread to see what size you need, not that it will go to all sizes. Oh, I thought... These aren't go-go gadget belts. I thought I was going to get this kick-ass belt that was going to span an 8-inch fucking difference, and it was going to fit me perfect. Yeah. Go get a, uh, a retractable car seat belt yeah. out of a out of an old car and wear that. Anyway, let's. We're gonna go ship some shit and uh, not reply to your fucking emails over where my my five dollar piece is. And um, seriously, if you don't have something real coming up, don't don't fucking email us to ask us where your shit's at if you're not willing to take the option. Because the honest answer is we don't fucking know. It's it's out in production. As soon as it comes, literally the fucking second it comes up, it's 5.30 here, Mongo's in the back packing orders, Colin's still here doing orders, Amanda's still shipping, and we're going to for a couple more hours probably on Monday evening just to get orders out because shit just came up. They just brought us a bunch of work that the dude's just finished cleaning. It's sitting up here. We're going to pack that shit up and ship it. We don't know where your shit is. It's fucking, it could, part of it's in one of these boxes. 
or it's, it's sewing, or it hasn't been cut. We don't fucking know. And you asking us, that's that's. I guess that's the bottom line to it. When you ask us, it is not going to in any way speed your order up. At all. Unless you're willing to take another option. And more and more, dudes are... We got dudes who are like, yeah, just ship me fucking what awesome. Yeah, they'll order something and literally put whatever color you got. But we do spend a lot of time every day giving these dudes options, and they're like, well, I'll just wait. Well, if you could just... And seriously, if you can just wait, don't fucking email us about it. Yeah. Because in the end, you'll speed up the whole production. This is like what, like asking where this is, where that is. That's like asking what part of your engine the gas is at at a given point. It's all part of a machine, and it's all going to make it run, but it doesn't run any smoother because you're asking questions about it. And, and it's going to get done. Right. And awesome. whenever people fuss about it also, yeah, you fuss about timing, shit like that. And people like, I, I know people ask all the time, they're like, is he really mad? or is it? I think people lose sight of the fact that we do, like, whenever he's here 16, 17 hours a day, if you had done anything for 16 or 17 hours and then had a motherfucker ask you why you weren't doing any better at it, and you'd been doing that for a good 20 years, you'd probably want to slap the teeth out of their head, too. I can't really blame for that. I haven't been here that long, and still, whenever people fuck up, I kind of want to snatch them up, and there's just no reason for some of the disrespect people throw around. We give 90% of our lives, like everyone else does at a given job, to the job you're at. You don't, is, you don't get those hours back. Like, truly, we're not mad. Like, fucking... No. We're, we're really not. Like, we love what we do. I wait all day to get one of these fucking emails so that we can make these videos. We have fun making them. But more so, I have fun with the dudes that jump on and go, you're going to go out of business. No, we're not going out of business. But the reality, the, the biggest part of it is... If you're going to come on here and tell me we lost the customer or whatever, post a fucking order number. Show us that we actually lost your order because we're okay with that. Like, if, if we lost your order, then you're fucking thin-skinned. And, and we can go and through we and I can want... pull the order and we won't remake it. Yeah. You actually help us if you do that. <laughs> we'll cancel your shit. Like, fucking post it. Don't be a bitch that fucking waits till the last minute till we ship your shit. And then um, we'll... That's it. We'll go ahead and throw this shit up and we'll go back to work.